The revered Stoic sage Seneca once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Our minds control our realities beyond one's belief. A way to help harness the power of your mind is by setting a proper and effective morning routine. In this video today we will demonstrate 8 Stoic habits that you should do every morning. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell for life-changing Stoic content. Before we start, I would like to say thank you for joining us and welcome to the Stoic Lifestyle. The first habit we have today is, reflect on the transcending nature of life. Take time before rising each morning to reflect deeply on the transcending nature of life. To do this, set your alarm 30 minutes earlier so you have quiet space for this centering practice. Find a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths to calm your mind. Allow thoughts and emotions to settle without following them down rabbit holes. Come fully into the present moment. Consider the vastness of time and all the people who came before you, paving the way for your existence. Feel gratitude for their contributions and struggles which allow you to live today. Reflect on the improbability of your being here in this exact time and place. Of the infinite possibilities, something brought you into this life now to fulfill your unique purpose. Appreciate this precious gift. Watch how fleeting thoughts and sensations constantly come and go. Yet underneath is an expansive awareness that remains ever-present. You are this deeper, unchanging witness, not those passing contents of consciousness. Remember that all conditions change. Joys and sorrows, gains and losses ebb and flow. But there is a peace beneath them that you can access. It is your true home. Abide there. When ready, open your eyes. Carry this sense of perspective and gratitude consciously into your day. Meet whatever arises with more wisdom, patience, and compassion. The second habit we have today is read timeless Stoic texts. This heightens wisdom and reinforces your values before the day pulls you in many directions. Set aside 10-15 minutes after reflecting or meditating to read Stoic writings. Works by Seneca. Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and others provide righteous principles for living. Select a short passage or poem to contemplate. Read it slowly, paying attention to each layer of meaning. Let the words sink deeply into your consciousness. As an alternative, listen to an edifying podcast episode on philosophy, ethics, or ways to craft a meaningful life. Podcasts expand perspectives while getting ready. Make notes in a journal about passages that particularly resonate. Transcribe inspiring quotes into a commonplace book for easy reference. Share impactful lines with friends. Imbuing your morning with righteous principles and contemplation sets the tone for the whole day. You enter the world already grounded in reason, virtue, and tranquil purpose. Make the texts vary each day. One day Seneca, the next Aurelius, then a podcast, etc., Variety keeps the wisdom fresh while doubling down on key values and mindsets. Let timeless stoic insights elevate your consciousness daily. Start your day nourished by the penetrating truths of these great minds. Their wisdom prepares you to contribute good amidst chaos. The third habit we have today is set meaningful intentions for the day. Define priorities and desired outcomes for the day ahead rather than just reacting blindly to whatever comes your way. Review any major ongoing projects and responsibilities currently on your plate. Given your principles and aims, what specific actions and objectives will advance these priorities today? Set one to three ambitious yet achievable intentions. Break larger goals down into discrete tasks or time blocks of 60-90 minutes that you can schedule into your day. For example, Intend to work focused on a major report from 8, 9.30 a.m., rather than vaguely trying to work on report amidst distractions. Link your daily intentions back to your long-term vision and principles. For instance, intend to write one chapter today to get closer to publishing a humanitarian book. Keep the big picture always in mind. Defining meaningful intentions provides direction and ensures you deliberately spend time on what matters most. It prevents the precious day drifting away reactively on distractions. 
Intentions transform purposeful living into an actionable plan. Of course, remain flexible if unexpected events require you to modify your agenda and priorities. But start grounded in focused intentions. Then adjust artfully as needed, without losing contact with your purpose. Each new morning provides a fresh opportunity to align your time and energy with your highest self and values. Set inspiring intentions, then get to work mindfully bringing your vision to life, hour by hour. The fourth habit we have today is, visualize your challenges for the day. Consider your schedule and the types of interactions, obstacles, and conflicts that may arise. Envision yourself maintaining stoic patience and wisdom if tricky conversations or situations happen. Picture tough moments vividly in your mind. For example, imagine a tense meeting with a co-worker and responding with compassion. Or rehearse staying focused during an important project if interruptions occur. See yourself handling misunderstandings, delays, conflicts, and other curveballs with rationality and equanimity. Imagine the ideal stoic poise you wish embody when faced with frustration. This mental preparation makes constructive responses more instinctive when difficulties actually come, as they inevitably do. Challenges lose power to unsettle you. Of course, not everything can be predicted. So focus on cultivating inner resilience generally rather than fixating on particular scenarios. The stoic mindset endures all surprises. Starting the day by getting your mind right reduces reactivity when things go wrong. You become the eye of the hurricane, centered and unshaken amidst swirling storms. The fifth morning habit we have today is practice Amor Fati. Each morning, remind yourself that life is finite and this day may be your last. Adopt the stoic mindset of Amor Fati, loving your fate, to make the absolute most of the limited time you have available. Reflect on the reality that we all will die, but none of us know when. Our time is uncertain and fleeting. Do not take a single day for granted. Live like it's your last, for one day that will be true. Consider how you wish to spend your remaining days, weeks, and months, however many there may be. What matters most? How can you honor the gift of life purposefully until it's over? Approach the upcoming day as an incredible gift, no matter your circumstances. You have 24 more hours to learn, love, contribute, and experience life's beauty. Seize this opportunity fully. Making mortality's fragility felt fuels passion and presence. Pettiness and distractions hold less sway when any moment could be your last. Gratitude emerges for your improbable existence here and now. Of course, balance ambition with self-care. Burnout results from pushing frantically as if racing a ticking clock. Find equanimity in balancing urgency with patience. Remembering life's impermanent centers, you deeply in each transient moment. Make the very most of the time you have, however long or short it may be. The sixth habit today is practice stoic journaling. Make stoic journaling part of your early routine to help clarify your thinking and align your day with intentionality. Writing out your thoughts, goals, and reflections First thing focuses the mind wonderfully. Date each journal entry and start by listing any pressing thoughts, swirling, emotions present, or lingering dreams you recall. Get anything initially cluttering your psyche down in writing. Mental download complete. Next, define your priorities, goals, and schedule for the day as noted earlier. You can also jot motivations, obstacles, and win conditions for major goals. Writing clarifies and commits. Also include notes of gratitude, blessings in your life, progress made, good deeds done, etc. Gratitude sets the tone for appreciation throughout the day. Transcribe any inspirational quotes or passages you encountered that resonate. Record key insights from the previous day to integrate going forward. Journaling every morning tracks growth over time. Reviewing the previous week's or month's entries shows you how far you've come. Progress compounds. Writing helps distill nebulous thoughts and emotions into concrete words and plans. A stoic journal clears mental clutter, articulates purpose, and grounds your days in mindfulness. The seventh habit today is practice mindfulness and meditation. While stoicism and mindfulness come from different philosophies, 
Eastern traditions like mindfulness share stark similarities to Stoicism. Both have great importances on living in the present moment and not letting past thoughts or future worries get into your head. Mindfulness and meditation grounds you powerfully in the present moment, rather than getting swept up in thoughts about the past or future, which is why it is beneficial from a Stoic perspective. Find a quiet space to sit undisturbed for 10-15 minutes. Set a timer. Close your eyes and focus fully on your breath. When thoughts inevitably arise, gently return your attention back to the inhale and exhale. As you progress, observe thoughts, emotions, and sensations without attachment or judgment. Simply witness them arising and passing away. Don't reject or cling to mind contents. Just watch with equanimity. Regular mindfulness meditation first thing brings calm and clarity amidst daily life. You become less reactive and more able to mindfully respond to any situation. Anxiety and disturbances hold less sway. Even a few minutes of meditating or mindful sitting centered your energy and attention for the horse ahead. It aligns you with the wisdom and stillness beneath all the doing. For longer sessions, reflect on inspirations, role models or principles to guide your actions, or simply abide in tranquil awareness. Meditation remains a wellspring of focus all day. Make time for this vital centering practice daily. Drink deep from the cool waters of mindfulness before entering the heat and bustle of daily obligations. It sets the tone. The last morning habit we have today is reflect on your flaws. It's important in the morning to reflect honestly on your own faults and weaknesses. The Stoics advised regular self-examination without self-pity or exaggeration in order to improve. Look back on the previous day mindfully. When did you act unvirtuously out of anger, greed, laziness, etc.? Make note without berating yourself. Observe patterns and triggers non-judgmentally. Also look for instances where you repeated bad habits, procrastinated, acted cowardly or lost self-discipline. What vulnerabilities or blind spots does this reveal to work on? Consider any constructive feedback you've received from loved ones. What fair critiques do others have that you should heed? Don't just dismiss criticism. The goal in reviewing faults is not to beat yourself up, but to show you where growth and learning are needed. Reflect with self-compassion, but total honesty. Of course, also note your strengths and wins from the day before. Self-examination aims for balance, recognizing both the gold and shadow within you. Regular morning self-review holds your feet to the fire. You take full responsibility for your conduct without making excuses. This builds integrity and fuels ongoing improvement. Reflecting on ourself as advised from the Stoics has a pivot effect on building self-discipline. As you are here right now, ask yourself, will I use these lessons and better my life? If so, reflect on that and make it your goal to implement these lessons into your everyday life. Which lessons today have you resonated with the most? Comment below your answers. I wish for a stoic discussion in the comment about your thoughts on these lessons and its effect on your life. As always, I hope you learned from this video and came out a better stoic after watching. If you are a new viewer and enjoyed this video, please subscribe as it helps me spread the word of stoic philosophy. Thank you for joining me in this journey and as always till our next journey may you find peace and serenity in the stoic ways.